people, will you continue wearing masks even after this pandemic ends, and why? I read someone's comment on another thread that they wear a mask because they had chemo and their immune system was compromised. Before COVID-19, people would question them and even tell them point blank to take the mask off because they were somehow offended by the mask. On airplanes, strangers would tell the flight attendant that the mask wearer was trying to hide their face for nefarious reasons. This person was sick, what kind of false entitlement do you have to have to berate a chemo patient? OMG absolutely, where my family are from, wearing masks is commonplace, and as someone with a weak immune system and who suffers dreadfully from hay fever, I've always worn masks when I need it. The amount of abuse, racist and otherwise I've had for just wearing a fucking mask is insane. The one that stands out the most for me was when a man who walked past me shoved his face into mine and sneered, we aren't all dirty, you Asians need to get your head out your ass. I was so shocked and scared and taken back. I'm glad they're common in the West now. I commented this farther up but my mom was finishing up chemo right as the news of COVID in China hit. It wasn't in the US but we had all stocked up on masks, hand sanitizer, etc. When she was first diagnosed October 2019 and had been wearing them when in public because she couldn't afford to get sick. The day of her last chemo we stopped into Costco to grab some stuff with masks on and some asshole went out of his way to lean into my mom's face so he could cough into it all exaggerated because he thought she was being dramatic by wearing a mask. She was literally just trying not to die during her battle with cancer. Yes. I grew a mustache. It looks dreadful to most people, think two caterpillars slowly climbing my upper lip, because I have a scar directly under my nose where hair does not grow, I find it hilarious every time I look in the mirror. I may transition it to the Hetfield 93 down the chin stash at some point. Edit for those asking, not a cleft palate. Went over the handlebars of my bike when I was a kid. My face broke my fall. Top lip was separated from the under my nose. You could look in and see my gums. See I'm the opposite. I had to clean shave for FFP mask fit testing, but was given a guide of acceptable facial hair beforehand. So right now I have a sick handlebar mustache. However, an hour after having just a standard surgical mask on, the wax has melted due to the humidity, and the pressure from the mask itself has ruined the whole grooming anyway. Cannot wait until I don't have to wear a mask all day in hospital, but I reckon that will be like six months time at the earliest. I've been wearing masks much before COVID actually. Pollution in my city is equal to smoking two packs of cigarettes daily, for ref. It is at an average of around 440 AQI whereas healthy air remains between 0 to 50 AQI. Edit. People who are asking. Yes. I'm in Delhi RN. I have a mask from California fires and from traveling overseas, I get a bronchial infection after two weeks in polluted areas, the mask solved that for me. At the gym, I've been wearing it for two years now. Due to the close proximity of holding pads for someone in boxing, they often exhale with spittle landing on my face. I used to average six colds a year, then I started wearing a mask and got zero colds. I've always worked from home, so the gym is the only place I come in close contact with people. Being Taiwanese before the pandemic I always prepare a few disposable masks for long-haul flights. Brought over from Taiwan, because on long-haul flights really makes the air feel quite dry? I felt I can breath better wearing it on flights, only removing it for eating and drinking. On a plane people assume you are a foreigner and different. So I got no problem with that. But in terms of day-to-day, -day, I did not use to wear it before the pandemic because I got bully and aggressive behaviors for it in public. Being a different ethnicity and adding extra difference to myself with a mask was really not helpful. So I will wait and see how things goes after pandemic. Edit. I moved to the UK in my teen. My mom always scold me for not wearing it before the pandemic. But she really do not understand the difficulty you get when you a foreigner, a kid trying to fit in and also be seasonally different. It was hard. I did not even do what she told me to do after the first six months. Also as Taiwanese, Asian we don't have a culture of stay home when sick. It was fairly embedded in the culture. Hence we wear a mask in Asia because they all bloody have to work. Of course once I got used to the UK ways of how sick days work, I am not going anywhere when ill. 
I probably will when I'm feeling sick like they do in other countries. I've always thought that it was polite and a good custom. Now that masks may be more common in America it'd be nice to not need to work from home every time I have the sniffles. I'm hoping that becomes the norm too. I'm really curious to see how our flu death rates are impacted by the widespread adoption of masks due to COVID this flu season. I also love wearing mine for smelly tasks. I didn't think it would do much since it's just cloth with no filter, but I recently painted my house and it helped so much. Without it I had a massive headache from the Vox, with it I had zero issues. I also have a dog so I use it now when I poop scoop the yard, makes that unpleasant task much more bearable when you remove smell from the equation. I'm gonna ride this mask train as long as I reasonably can. It's been nine months since a stranger told me I should smile. I never appreciated how much those weekly comments weighed me down until I was suddenly free of them. And guess what? I smile a lot more behind my mask. Not being told to smile has been a spectacular bonus of this otherwise bizarre situations. I like the masks for a variety of reasons, but I'm also a big fan of the fact I get to have something fun and personal for my uniform for my job. My uniform is boring because well, it's a uniform. I had been adding personality to it through my hair and earrings and makeup, but now the masks really let it shine. Every day at work we'd come in and see what fun masks someone had got, what patterns or logos or themes. It is really a neat way to show some personality and I am going to be sad when that outlet is gone. Not sad that about no longer having a deadly disease risk every time I go to work, but we're trying to make something enjoyable in all of this. Yeah idk when there will be a day to officially declare, okay pandemic over y'all pack it in, we did it, I think things will move forward in phases of safety precautions and masks may be at least recommended for possibly a long time given that there's possibility of mutating virology exhibited with SARS-CoV-2. I do think once we reach a solid threshold of people having been immunized, things will be in better shape. Also though, I can't believe I let people breathe all over me so much before haha and, in addition, walking outside in the winter with a thick mask has kind of been awesome in terms of keeping a little warmer I can't lie, plus covering up some random acne, coffee breath, etc. I think some areas of the country will re-implement mask mandates every so often, like during a bad flu season. I think once it's really over, you'll have people who will never wear a mask again no matter what. But as a trend, I think mask wearing is now more acceptable, especially in the US. In the US, people wearing masks would be gawked at. Hell, I was gawked at in April when I wore a mask inside a restaurant to pick up food. I was the only one outside the wait staff wearing one. Now, in December, it's the other way around. Once this ends, I think if people want to wear masks in public still then most others won't give a second notice. There is a guy in my town that goes ape shit when he sees me in my mask, not sure why it bothers him, for this small pleasure I will keep my mask on. I bought a mirrored face shield on Amazon for like $15 and some people hate it. I have to do Postmates now so it's worth every penny for both the protection and that look when I walk in a restaurant and all these dipshits eating out stop talking to try to make sense of what the fuck just walked in. Then I turn around and they have to see my hand-painted, guillotine Bezos 2020, jacket. Like I get to assault their Denialist alt-reality with my capitalist dystopian robot mask and I love it. Never liked unnecessary attention before but now you can't see my face and it makes Postmates that much more bearable. I didn't realize this until last week honestly but those masks are really good outside in the cold. I've always struggled with scarves. Honestly, I look like the before black and white video on one of those infomercials with scarves but a nice warm mask walking to lunch by my work? Yes please. In flu season, I will. Or if any respiratory bug is going around. This year has taught me that we're not taking respiratory infections seriously enough in general. A great many deaths could be prevented by reducing transmission of the flu especially. Also, a great deal of discomfort, medical expenses, days off work, etc., could be prevented if we just took very simple measures to reduce transmission of rhinovirus, norovirus, and other viruses that are lumped together as the common cold. 
As a teacher, I 100% agree with this and wish this was the line of thinking moving forward. Last year I had three colds, two bouts of strep, a stomach virus, and the flu, just from September to mid-March, when we shut down. I missed nearly two days of work per month being sick, still working the days I felt well enough, and when I had the flu I was out an entire week, but felt sick for nearly three weeks. I was relieved when we shut down because I'd been sick so much, my body needed a rest. So many people send their sick kids to school and I get it, you have to work, but so do I, and kids are gross. They sneeze and cough without covering their nose, don't wash their hands properly, touch you constantly, leave tissues everywhere. I've had kids cough directly in my face on multiple occasions. Fortunately, with the masks, distancing, and extreme hand washing, I haven't been sick once this year. And we've been back in person, up until a week ago. I'm honestly enjoying it, so yes. I don't have to put on fake customer service smiles anymore. No one realizes how hard it is to actually do that constantly until you're worked retail or customer service. People are fucking jerks, and we basically have to let them bully and abuse us all while smiling about it. With a mask hiding my face, I at least don't have to force a smile anymore. I'll wear then when I get sick and have to leave the house, though generally I do just stay at home whenever possible if I'm sick to not infect others, but I'm not going to wear it otherwise. Just too annoying with the glasses. Making it through this winter without getting in an accident is gonna be half a miracle because I'm basically walking around blind. Fuck no. I absolutely hate wearing masks. Pain in the ass. I still do it because I'm not an arsehole, but I fucking hate it. Steams up my glasses, makes the skin around my mouth all moist and horrible. Glasses keep falling off anytime I look down because of the ear loops on the mask I have to wear for work, hurts my ears after wearing for hours at work. Literally nothing redeeming about it other than the obvious viral protections I mean. The moment we're told you don't need to wear it, it's going in the fucking bin. No chance. I will continue to wear it without any hint of complaint while there is any danger at all, because I know it is important, but I hate it. I hate having to remember a mask whenever I go out and fumble with it whenever I enter a shop. I hate that I can't hear people speak as clearly, and I hate the physical barrier it puts up between people in a community. I want to be able to see people's facial expressions and I want to be able to smile at people. The moment it is declared safe not to do so, it's going in the bin. Definitely wearing it for a while. It'll take time for them to approve a vaccine for infants and children, so I don't want to give it to my kids. They also haven't put out any info that I know of as to if vaccinated people can still shed virus and infect others. Lastly, I'm immunosuppressed, so the vaccine will likely have a diminished effect on me. Just for the info part, the current US vaccines don't contain any virus to be shed. They target the spike protein found on the surface of the virus that causes COVID-19, which allows the virus to attach itself to host cells and infect them. Both of these vaccines work by presenting this spike protein to the immune system. The spike proteins aren't dangerous because the rest of the virus isn't present, however, the body now sees the protein and designs immune soldiers to fight it. Working as a paramedic right now. We used to rescue people regardless what they had without masks, but ever since corona you start to think about hygiene more. Of course we sterilized everything after every patient, but a mask, at least a light one, so not a FFP2 if you're not dealing with an infection, can provide you some basic safety. Once you stuck in a full overall with glasses that press on your nose like an elephant plus FFP2 mask wearing this basic mask is like a blessing. It does not inhibit your breathing in any form but provides some safety, but we will see how this will develop. Fuck no. I just got my weird germ anxiety mostly under control before this pandemic. Once it's safe, I'm going back to accepting a normal amount of risk in my life. I can't do everything to prevent every illness, so when COVID is no longer a more pressing concern, I'm going back to my normal, handwashing existence. You could discuss instead of just downvoting. I'm taking COVID very seriously and I thought I made that clear. I just don't think it will last forever. Plus, I'm also talking about stuff like norovirus. It's very easy to avoid, all you have to do is never, ever eat anything you didn't prepare yourself and never touch food without washing your hands first. 
However, that's neither reasonable or healthy long term. I'm worried I'll go that route with colds and start wearing a mask to avoid getting common sniffles. That's not normal. I'm speaking from experience with my very germphobic family. I see my younger siblings, who don't remember a time before dad was immune compromised, getting irrationally angry over one of them sneezing in the same room as the others. That's not normal. I don't want that to be normal once COVID is over. I remember reading something when COVID first started written by a psychologist treating OCD patients and how they realized this new focus would screw up a lot of their patients' treatment plans. I have been feeling really bad for people with stuff like that during the pandemic messages. Obviously the intense messaging is to try and get people to wash their hands when they don't normally but for people with intrusive thoughts about keeping clean, who are probably still washing more than everyone else, it just reinforces unhealthy thought patterns. I am gonna anyway cause I had a custom mask made by my grand pops before he passed away. I have respiratory problems after I make any kind of efforts I wear a mask, take a stim shot under doctor or medical surveillance and then I get handed a tube filled dead with oxygen a small tube maybe 2 to 3 centimeters and I attach it to a openable hole in my mask. So yeah I'm not getting this shit off till my 40s probably imagine it as a gas mask that I use before leaving home or going to high school or training. Edit. Thanks for the positive comments some of you guys have been sending but in fact it's not that annoying to wear it all the time. I feel like it's part of my face now so it's not that annoying but thanks guys. I'll wear a mask at work, grocery store cashier, until they force me not to. This is the first time in my life I haven't gotten sick every few weeks I basically ping pong between strong allergies and picking up every single cold, flu, and virus that goes around. I'm not immunocompromised a fake but I just don't seem to have the ability to fight off a lot of things, and I have a track record of sometimes developing complications or severe symptoms randomly like secondary infections, like when strep gave me an ulcerated tonsil, or when seasonal allergies turned into a three-week sinus ear infection. Not me. No. It was told several times over here, still available as information on RKI's website, that people with no symptoms usually are not the ones spreading viruses. And when I'm sick I do not want to go outside anyway, and in my current situation I also do not have to. Also I follow the most important, basic hygiene rules, same as I keep a certain distance by default as I don't like strangers coming too close to me. But I should go back to using more disinfection gel again as I used to do when I needed to take the train each day. Absolutely not. I absolutely detest mask wearing. I'm not a moron like some people by making that everyone else's problem. I wear it, I just absolutely minimize the amount of time I spend in situations where it is necessary. I'm looking forward to one day being allowed to leave my house again. For the back half of that, where people wear it if they think they might be contagious. I will definitely be taking advantage of the WFH infrastructure we've set up to quarantine myself when appropriate. In past years I've already done a fair amount of burning my own PTO, I've always worked in places where sick versus vacation days or in a shared pool, before and after the incapacitated phase of being sick to protect others. I'm really happy to not have to eat into my vacation time when I'm fully capable of getting my work done in the future. No. And I think the level of masks most people are wearing is useless. There's a level of mask that would protect you from an airborne virus, but the cloth bullshit Aunt Helen sewed for you isn't it? Just under 70% of soldiers at a course I was at recently tested positive after a week and a half in spite of masks, distance, hand washing, disposable utensils for meals, hand sanitizer, sanitizing door knobs and desks, and even two days when we were all wandering around alone in the woods. Everybody tested negative at the beginning of the course. At best masks protected roughly 30% of us if you assume that literally every other control measure was completely ineffective. Bear in mind that this is the military, you can absolutely mandate 100% compliance, and we did. Nobody was removing their mask to talk, nobody pulling it down under their nose, we all wore masks literally every waking moment. These cloth masks are either, a almost completely ineffective, or b so easily circumvented even through diligent usage that their efficacy doesn't matter. I usually get the flu really, really bad for two weeks every year. So far this year, not even had a sniffle since we've all been wearing masks. 
So I personally will keep wearing them, or at least wear them when I go out around other people. If I'm hiking or fishing or at a friend's house at that point, probably not. But if I am at a supermarket or retail store, you bet your ass I'm going in there with a mask on. I just want it to be socially acceptable to wear a stormtrooper or mondo helmet. Yes I will. I used to get sick all the time when I worked in an office because I have a somewhat weakened immune system, so I am fully taking advantage of the normalization of masks, even after most people stop wearing them. I just can't imagine going back to breathing other people's air in communal spaces, it gives me the heebie-jeebies now. Edit for clarification, cloth mask for everyday use in communal spaces like the grocery store, N95 or surgical in airports, on airplanes and in hospitals, doctor offices. I've personally found that they help with my speech. I've dealt with severe anxiety, selective mutism and other things that now, at 25 I struggle to communicate properly. I'm very quiet and usually don't open my mouth wide enough. Wearing a mask has forced me to talk louder and clearer. For the first time in a while, I've been able to talk to cashiers and order things without having to repeat myself. Or feel insecure about people staring at my mouth. It's been a small step to regaining my confidence when talking to strangers. I am person who had throat infection leading to fever two to three times annually. I got pretty sick in January this year. After lockdown started I adhered to guidelines of health authorities. Wore mask every time I went out, started using sanitizers. In transition of season, when I am most susceptible to allergic reaction in my upper respiratory part. I was all fine. I am the person who never wore mask before, had allergic asthma in childhood. Felt suffocation on using mask at first time but it body gets used to it. I clearly see the impact. So yes since I found it beneficial, I will wear mask when going out. It not only protects from virus stuff but also from allergens too. Shit, we were wearing them before COVID lol. My kids had a bad bout of strep last December and I had them both wear masks to the pharmacy when we picked up their meds. Also to the urgent care when my son had tested positive for it and my daughter came down with symptoms. So yay, especially if that nasty February flu starts going around again or for next time they get strep or anything else crappy. Though mostly we just stay home during that crap anyway. I think it would be a great idea to follow Japan's lead, as many have mentioned, and just encourage people to wear masks when they are sick. Where I lived Japan, almost everyone wore masks before the pandemic even started. The main reason for this is because the majority of Japan's transportation is through trains, which tend to be extremely crowded in the mornings. Before the pandemic, it's so crowded that they have different times for companies and schools to open so that children don't get caught in the rush hour. Furthermore, I like wearing masks, in my opinion, they are comfortable and I like that people can't see your face. No and everyone here saying they will are lying to themselves. Once they start getting in a crowd and they're the only ones wearing it they'll give into social pressure in a matter of weeks at best. I'm not anti-masks. I wear one now and I follow the rules, but let's stop pretending anyone but social hermits and autistic kids enjoy them. The day the WHO calls off the state of pandemic, literally the minute I see the news, I'll throw every mask or any item related to the pandemic I own in the trash. From here on out whenever I'm feeling a little ill or someone in my household is, I plan to wear a mask when out in public. I always assumed it was a kooky thing that some people did because there was no way that mask was going to keep them from getting sick or inhaling pollution or whatever they thought they were protecting themselves from. Now I realize I was being ignorant and the mask was to keep them from spreading what they've got or think they might have. I do hope that a culture of wearing masks when ill sticks around after things get back to normal. Wow. Thank you for asking this questions, and thank you to all people on Reddit who upvoted and commented on it. I have wondered about this. Personally, I know I am always for the rest of my life, at least during flu seasons but also most likely other times, will wear masks. Not everywhere, but in transit and crowded places, shops, malls, grocery stores etc. Now, let me go read other comments to see what rest of the Reddit thinks. I am hoping for a circle jerk. Yes. America is such an individualistic country, people not wearing a mask because it's not cool, or something like that. 
I'm American and it took me a little while to get over the initial self-conscious feeling of wearing a mask. But in other countries, especially Asian countries, people have been wearing masks to protect their fellow citizens for so long, even if they just have a cold or a cough. I hope that Americans, including myself, will continue to wear masks when they may be or are sick in the post-COVID future in order to protect our fellow Americans. Also now there are a million times more cute, fun masks lol. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video. And if you are new, subscribe and click on the bell icon.